Last month, I had the pleasure of visiting Alicuti, which is one of the seven alien islands just off of Sicily. It has a local population of only 120 people and there are no roads or cars. Life is vibrant, low paced, and the locals are some of the happiest people I've ever met. I hope you guys enjoy this little video diary that I put together from the five dreamy days I spent there. It feels so like shells. Don't mind. Oh, Do you want some of them? I think this is the most special place I've ever visited. We are so remote. This island has no roads, as you would have seen. Yesterday, we literally got escorted with our bags by a donkey. <laughs> and there's only 100 people that live on this island full time. So if that puts things into perspective, it's a pretty special place. We're staying in this really beautiful but old building owned by the sweetest lady called Elise who lives like down below where we're staying with her daughter Elena and when we arrived last night we were just kind of like getting to know them and we made a really tasty dinner actually have woken up this morning had the best sleep ever I'm gonna be quiet and you'll literally only hear Xanthi's toothbrush because there's just no noise so quiet I'm gonna go down and make some breakfast pretty soon and then I think we're just gonna chill. I wanna kinda get creative and do some more drawing while I'm here and probably go on a few hikes. The ocean is quite far down. <laughs> so many steps to get down to the ocean, but we've said that we wanna try and go at least once a day. So we're gonna do that at some point today as well. Can you guys see the goats? Now that I look at it, there's actually so many. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, <laughs> six. To, you know, you think to take these or that. I mean, otherwise, it's like, oh my god, it's well nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you only let Al pat him. going down to the beach for the first time and I'm so excited the water literally looks so clear except we've kind of messed up it's 1 30 and we were hoping to get some lunch like a sandwich or something from the one supermarket that's down there and apparently it's closed until 3 30 so um there's one other place that we're gonna try that Elise told us that we could potentially find like an arancini bowl or something but it really makes you think that you just have to be so organized living here no, Shall we get some peaches? Yeah. 
Maybe that one? I've just finished getting ready for dinner tonight. I've really put in the minimum effort. <laughs> My hair was wet so I just slicked it back and I'm wearing this cute pink gingham dress. We're going to this lady on the island's house and she's cooking for us tonight. So that'll be an amazing experience. Your new phone background has arrived. Aww. Okay, <laughs> 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 hey guys, it's just both average. <laughs> Shush. That's the extent of my shopping skills. Stairs down, second house on the left. <laughs> hey Siri. the spoiling me with this delicious little lunch plate i just got back from the little gift shop downstairs and i wanted to show you guys i'll start off with this actually we're going old school youtube off you guys to see this they have a bunch of handmade jewelry down there but the mum and the daughter who run this airbnb both have this ring and i just thought it was really sentimental and then i grabbed some little home souvenirs for when i have a home one day which i'm hoping is one day soon i grabbed this this is a sicilian chili and it is kind of like a good luck memento and every single one that she makes is of course unique but i picked out this one because i loved the lilac little beads considering how much i love souvenirs and everything i've actually been so good 
we've seen so many cute things i've pretty much always restrained you've seen that i've definitely bought a few ceramics but considering how many i could have bought i think i've been pretty good and then last but not least i got this other cute little thing they're also nicely wrapped as well again just to remind me of the island and my time here so yeah super special and super cute Zethi's actually gone down to the shop, which is so nice because those stairs, I just wasn't feeling up for it. Um, but she's gone down to the shop to grab some extra ingredients for dinner. It's so funny grocery shopping here because the store is literally so bare. Um, you really don't have many options, so you just kind of see the ingredients and you just are forced to piece together something. Oh, I actually also just finished shooting some content for this necklace. It's a collab that me and Zoe have been working on. I love wearing it in Europe especially. It looks so nice against the tan. I feel quite like dressed and hot. Yeah. Um, I feel quite like dressed and hot. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and the cat following you. It's giving house on the prairie. <laughs> Insta be reality. Guys, a jellies. So there's actually no plumbing in this sink. Basically, it's just a bowl and you grab the bowl and you tip it down the shower drain. No idea why, but I'm so amused by that. I've got you guys balancing on the freaking tap. <laughs> It's been a whole day of laying in the sun, reading my book, drawing, just hanging out. It's Anthony's last night here. She's heading back to London tomorrow and then Alex and I leave the day after. So we want to have a bit of a special dinner. Alex and I went to the store this morning after we had our swim at the beach and the vegetable slash like produce shipment hasn't come into the island for the last few days. So it was actually like bad. There was no produce there. I think there was like three potatoes and like a bunch of overripe bananas. <laughs> so unless the produce shipment has come in today, I think we're just gonna be having like pasta with a really basic tomato sauce. Yeah. Alex is winning and I just made him pay 24 million. What are you gonna do? Oh, it's very soft. 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 Oh, it's very soft.
finally, it's the end of peach season. But these peaches are the best I've ever tasted. They actually taste like a mango. They're so sweet. 